into it for 2022. First session, uh, it's the 2nd of Jan. Heading to one of my favorite places, which has been average for the last six months, the Maribyrnong River. Uh, catching up with a good mate of mine, Nick Mace. Uh, and hopefully, get into a few. Water's much cleaner than it was for probably the last six months. It's just been like chocolate milk, so that should hopefully bid well for a good day. Macy's already here, I think he's just launched, so we'll go down and meet him. Morning, Nico. Morning, Dale. How you going, mate? Good, mate. Yourself? Good. Happy New Year. And to you. Time for our first uh, fish of the year. It's going to be a good one, I reckon. Well, well fingers, fingers crossed. crossed. Yeah, the weather's pretty good. Water's looking that. better? Yeah, yeah, the water's really good. Half hour update, so anyway, we're just making our way along the Edgewater Lake here. Um, sighting a few fish on the edges, but I uh, can't get any of them to take so far. I've been throwing crabs and the zip bait cams and tinies, uh, which usually work in here. I'm just about to throw a new risky critter in camo on about a 124th head or something like that so we'll see if that uh, snags us anything. Well it's gone nine o'clock so an hour and a half. Macy landed a really small brim oh, a little while ago. I've had Two hookups, no landings, uh, just had another decent hit. And we've switched over to stick minnows, which seems like it's gonna be um, productive. And Macy's just hooked a, a nice little perch. I'm going to have a look at that now. Little fella. But any fish is a fish. Have a look at that little, that damage there. Yeah. He's been in the wars. But yeah. They seem to be growing fairly quick, these perch that have been introduced into this system. I reckon that one will double in size. Let's go. Yeah, that Macy's on, I don't know what he's got, he's about to pull up. Ooh, nice brim. It's been a while, Macy hasn't picked a brim up before, so. See these, um, I caught one the other day as well, like this. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you've seen the brim that's showing these weird looking. Holy shit. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Have they been attacked? Let's see, girls. all about? Sort of comes yeah. in it. It's like he's been speared. Yeah. Whoa, 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 there we go. Oh, catch and release. There we nice go, job, release. Nancy. Oh well. We better get some more. Well, it just shows how much I suck at the moment. Nico's got, I think, three or four now. Uh, I've hooked up a couple of times, but not actually landed anything. So, uh, need to sharpen up the old skills. It's been a while since I've been out. So, we'll keep going. Hopefully, there's still plenty of time left, so. Uh, and quite a few bridges to go, so we'll see how it goes. The tide's just about to come in, and that should fire them up, hopefully. Well, it's taken two hours. Uh, I haven't landed it yet, but uh, switched over to the Risky Critter in camo. I'm fishing it pretty light, but just throwing it along the edge, and this guy's just whacked it. Get in a sec. Not a bad fish, he's wolfed that down. Absolutely wolfed that down. Hang on a sec. Milking everywhere too. 
nice little mid 30s fish. Let's whiff that down. So just got busted off um, by another fish. I've dropped another one, so um, the risky critters are working well. I did have a camo on, which I don't have any more of with me, so I'm going to try and change it up and see if they take one of the blood worms. I've got a good one here. As you can see. So it's blood worm again throwing on a 128. So let's see if we can get success on that. I do like to just cut oh, about half an inch off the end. Just like that. Ready to go. Right, looks like I'm finally onto a proper one. Just hit up the pontoon, back this drag off a little bit, and threw a stick minnow in under there. And then this is the result. Where is it? Yeah, that's a good long fish. Let him play out. So this one's just come off that pontoon that I showed you just before. Yeah. A Nick May stick minnow special. Macy and I got a heap of these stick minnows and I run size 18 trebles on them. Um, I just find it lightens them up and slows the sink rate down a little bit. Um, <clears throat> then I paired that up with slightly softer rod being the 610EX LFS. And the new Aerity reel, that thing is just beautiful. So smooth in the drag. So, they are milking up like they would around October, November. And it's now January, so it just shows you how far behind the spawn process they've been. Like, the water's been so dirty with so much fresh for so long. Let's see if we can get this out. There we go. Let's go and get another one. There you go, nailed another little one. So Macy's just found this little old boat ramp, or it's actually the horses ramp here that they take all the horses from Flemington into the water in. It's obviously creating a little eddy and a school of perch are in there. Let's see if a uh, bloodworm risky critter works. Macy? Yeah, uh, get in there, Dale. Ruins up. I guarantee you get one. Well, this is me you're talking about, so I can't catch perch to save my life, but. Oh, I spooked Macy's uh, seat. Uh, no. No, but this other one should go alright. Alrighty, so we're down to one of our favourite bridges. It's, um, well, we call it Flemington Road Bridge, but it's actually got a different name. It's 
oh, I can't remember. It says it on it. I'll find out in a sec. But uh, hopefully this is where they'll start to really fire. We've tried a couple of pontoons along the way. Uh, picked up a couple off the edges. Macy got a couple of perch here and there. So water tide's actually coming back into a high tide at one o'clock. So that's in about uh, two and a half hours. So it should be on hopefully now tide's perfect on these bridge pylons they've got uh, quite a bit of oh they've done all new concrete on these so that's new reinforcing them but uh, let's see let's see how it goes I actually prefer when I'm fishing these with the tide, actually drifting with the tide. I just think it gives the lure a more natural sink. Um, and I've found over over the years that you actually get more bites um, with it that way. So we'll try that in a second. We'll go up this side and we'll drift back. So that tide's really starting to punch now. So. To the back of these bridges are good because it creates a really nice little eddy for them. Just about there, drop it off, and the fish should be hanging there waiting. Yeah, that's the one, that's the one I want that. I want that one out here. Yeah, that's where I want it. That's a good fish. I'm going to chase him out there. Go back into the bridge. I want him to go to the centre. So he's heading the right way now. I need to turn his head out. Yeah, it's a good one. Let him play, I'll drift with the tide, let it run. And then ready. Ooh. Oh no! <laughs> What's happened there? Oh no! Well, that just sucks balls, doesn't it? Let's see if we can catch him again. I'll probably get busted off now because I haven't checked. Seems like a bugger. Yeah, that was a good non fish, that one. So. I don't know what I'm doing. I thought I did everything right then, but not. Clearly not. Amateur hour, 
What's that? No, I had a crab on then. Oh. Oh, you were recording. Oh, there you go. Actually managed to get that out without pulling the hooks and without busting myself off. Nice little brimbo. Olive crab. And in light, light olive crab. Because the way I'm fishing them, you're fishing them to fish that are right up high on the on the bridge pylons. So you actually want them to sink slowly. You're not fishing like yellowfin, you fish for the for them on the bottom. But uh, black brim, you what actually sight casting to these guys. So here's just milked everywhere. <laughs> See if we can get another one and not break a rod in the process because I tend to leave rods lying on the deck and then they get caught up and I'm a bit of a spud like that. So, lesson learned put your rods in your rod holder, you dipshit. Ah. Catching fish, catching fish, catching fish. You tried the must yet, Macy? Hey? Have you tried the must? No go. No go on the must. Stick minnows and crabs so far. Haven't tried the plastics yet. And we'll get into that in a sec. Going to do this drift again. Part of this, so go up again and try that. So the question was, have you ever pulled anything off here? Macy says. And we said, well, occasionally. And there you go. It's only a small one, but saw him chewing on that pylon and just basically cast to him, let it drift in, and whoa! Sorry, Macy. Back in. Aye, 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 aye. Ah. Rods, rods, rods. Jesus. I'm all over the shop here. That won't be what I'm doing. Go for a little tiny fella. Hey. Problem is, the tiny ones are the ones that get you pulled. It's just so lively. Well, we're a midday update. Um, it's gone pretty quiet. Nico's bagged a few. Um, I've only got a couple. Uh, down the, the front, at Blackbird, Nico casting at the pontoons. Cracking day to be on the water. So that's really all that matters. Um, I think, oh, back in the back, seeing that. So for you guys watching, I can probably see because I can't zoom in. Basically, in there, you can actually see them. They're just sitting in there. So right at the back there. So fucking nice, good fish. I don't know if Nico will get in there. I know. There's absolute donkeys in the back there. Let's see if we can get Mitch on to them. Caught up on the rudder. Oh, he's Dutch rudder it. Dutch rudder. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
little fun and games to you. Hook up on a rudder. Did you bust off? Let's have a look. Might have to get a cast in there. Say so. See if I can put the plastic in there. Again. Just started fishing this edge with the plastic again and BAM! This guy's just whacked it. So looks like the blood worm does work. In these nice sunny conditions. Probably uh, late 20s, early 30s, not big fear in here, so it's alright. So you just spent a heap of time redoing this Footscray Wharf. Um, still got some more to do, but again, heaps more structure now. Uh, this was falling into water uh, a few years ago, but done a fair bit of work here redoing this whole lower section of the Nong, which is good to see. And again, more structure, more fish. And more lures donated, I'm sure. I've put in a new kayak ramp just up here. One of the things I like to do when I, once I've hooked up, I try and back away from the structure as quickly as possible. And that way, then I can fight. Here's a good fish. Um, fight them out in the open and back that drag off and hopefully land them. So let's just see if I can get him in the net. That's a donkey for the non. That's an absolute donkey. Happy with that one. Wow. So hard trying to do this bloody one handed and film, and credit to all those guys that do it really well. Get some new camera mounts on the on the yak to try and set this up so I know I can just leave it there. Might actually do that now. Give me a second, I'll change change angles. That's a good fish. So we were looking for wrong one. Uh, where are we? I reckon they were still going to tide run down. Well it's starting to I reckon. Yeah. So the tide's starting to move. See if I can get. Oh, he's got nice flat teeth. He's an old, oh, old sucker. Oh, that's a good kilo fish. Can't even get him on the screen. There we go. Uh, stick minnow. Just smack that, and he took off real slow to start with. Took off real slow to start with. You want a photo? Big blue lip. There we go. Big rubbery.
We're just starting to head back. Been not a bad day. Uh, reasonably productive. It was hard to get them early, but once we found uh, a couple of lures that worked and got a bit of tidal flow, it all started to come together. Um, got one decent one in there. I think Macy got a few. Uh, so all in all, not a bad day on the water to start 2022. Absolutely. Um, I'll try and get some footage of the fish that we got, but this is pretty much us piecing out. So enjoy. Hope to see you out in the water. And uh, yeah, give us a like and a subscribe and hopefully you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next one definitely time to pack it in just had a little bit of a malfunction with so I'm one paddle drive at the moment lucky I got the wind behind me um, help me get me home it'll be interesting to see if I go across but we will see how we go anyway all in, all in a day's fun a couple of decent ones so, the coat's just pulled out. How are you? Yeah, good. You got fish in the well, Nick? Super lively. Yeah. Best two from today. Oh, mate, doesn't want to go.